Welcome to my channel Learning Values with Oishiki. Everyone, my name is Oishiki. So today is the fifth day of this series on improve English speaking power by knowing about the earth. So today I am going to read some special features of dinosaurs. So let's begin with our story. How do we know about life in the past? We find out about life in the past by looking for evidence. Fossils are one kind of evidence. They are the remains of living things that have been preserved. Objects may be human such as stone tools are another kind of evidence. Is it true plants can't be fossil? No, plants can become fossils in the same way that animals can. By studying them, we learn about the plants once grew on earth. How is a fossil made? It takes millions of years to make a fossil. The picture on the left shows how it happens. Step 1. An animal dies. Its body sinks to the bottom of a lake. Secondly, sand and silt covers its body. Third step, the flesh rots away. Minerals sip into the bottom and turn them to stone. The animal is now a fossil. Step 4. The fossil is found. Who looks for prehistoric life? People who look for remains of prehistoric animals such as dinosaurs are called paleontologists. People who look for ancient humans are called archaeologists. They find great things such as bones, tools, buildings, jewelry and weapons. Amazing! A stinky resin that oozed from pine trees trapped in sacks that landed on it. It hardened into a substance called amber. Prehistoric insects are perfectly preserved inside it. Which were the biggest dinosaurs? In the Jurassic Age, giant plant eaters called sauropods became the largest animals to walk on Earth. One of them, Huntrasaurus, may have been up to 30 meters long and about 18 meters high, which is as tall as a six-story building. How do we know that dinosaurs existed? Scientists called planeontologists examined dinosaur bones and pieced them together. They also studied fossil footprints, nests and eggs, dug and even tooth marks on bones. Which were the smallest dinosaurs? Composonogratus was the size of a turkey and weighted about 3 kg. It hunted insects and lizards. Heterodontosaurus and Lesothosaurus, both plant-eating dinosaurs, were just as small. Which were the heaviest dinosaurs? Ultrasaurus may have weighted as much as 50 tons, but scientists have recently found evidence of an even bigger dinosaur in Argentina. The gigantic Argentinosaurus may have weighted as much as 100 tons. Most sauropods were smaller, weighting between 30 and 80 tons. Amazing! The neck of Mamanchinosaurus was 15 meters long, stretched by a system of spines. It could not have been lifted very high. Mamanchisaurus probably fed on low-growing vegetation. How do we know which dinosaurs ate meat and which ate plants? We can tell by looking at fossils of their teeth and claws. Meat eaters and plant eaters developed different special features such as hands that could grasp and grinding or shearing teeth. What were plant eaters teeth like? Yamunosaurus had chisel like teeth to cut up through vegetation. Some sauropods had spoon shaped teeth for cutting tough plants. Diplodocats had pencil shaped teeth. They could strike branches bare in seconds by ranking leaves through their teeth. What were meat eaters' teeth and claws like? Meat eaters such as Olosaurus had long curved dagger like teeth to kill and tear at prey. They had powerful jaws in their large heads and strong claws to grip their victims. Olosaurus could eat you up in two gulps. Is it true some dinosaurs ate stones? 
Yes, plant eaters swallow stones called gastrolids to help grind down tough plant food inside their stomach. Gastrolids were up to 10 cm across. Amazing! Carcardodontosaurus had a huge skull 1.6 meters across with jaws full of teeth like a shark. And yet some dinosaurs had no teeth at all. Gallimimon fed mainly on insect and tiny creatures it could swallow whole. If you liked my today's video then please like and comment my video. And also subscribe my channel to listen to more such stories and to follow all my videos regularly. And don't forget to click on the bell icon. Thank you.